going on, my Lucy fans? My name is Lucy Sands, and today we are back playing more Sonic Adventure 1 as Tails. So, in the last episode, we did Tails' minigames, basically, and fought... Or no, we did two of Tails' minigames, and uh, we did Sky Chase 1, which was his other minigame right before that. So, um, yeah. Not really much happened other than repeats and uh, Sand Hill, which is boring. So, yeah, now we're coming back to some more fun stuff. So, we're going to start in a second. Let me just take a swig of water. Alright, so, there we go. Should be enough. Alright, so I ended up taking a short break, like, maybe a, a two-minute break in between this one and the last part, and, oh. Uh, let me turn down my headset audio so I can actually hear myself t think. Anyway, so, now it's time we head back to the Sky Deck from Sonic's playthrough. We've already seen that before. It's the exact same cutscene as far as I remember. So, we saw Whoa. it as Sonic. Hey, transform! Did you see that? Now, He's just how like, are we gonna get to the bridge? I hate it when he doesn't listen to me. <laughs> I guess you weren't expecting that, were you? There's only one way to get to me, Sonic, and that's through the sky deck. I doubt if you can make it. Ha <laughs> I dare you! Just watch me. Bring it on, Eggman. And Sonic disappears. Don't ask me how they thought that was okay. Maybe they thought Tails' tails would obscure him since it's supposed to be in a 4x3 ratio as far as I remember. It's not supposed to be widescreen, that's a mod. But, um, yeah. So, that cutscene. Uh, the face Sonic gave when he was like, Sonic, did you see that? Man, that face is just like the biggest no-dip face I've ever seen a character give in a video game. And it was just like, I hate it when he doesn't so, listen, when he clearly did. Huh? And we <laughs> uh, Every character does that when they enter Skydeck from this entrance. Anyways, for Tales of Stage for Skydeck, we're doing the front portion. Yes, like your scream was necessary. Oh lord. Oh, this is gonna suck. Come on. Come on, run. Run. Fly up. Hit the spring. And use this to fly up. Oh, I already failed. Yeah, I already failed because I couldn't see what I was doing. Come on, Tails. You made it. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Hey, Tails. All right, let me. I have no idea what he's doing, but anyways. Let's go ahead and fly over here. Take this rocket. I gotta pause for a second. Okay, I was so terrified I was about to lose because of me pausing right there. All right, we're at the end of Tales of Sky Deck. Alright, so your goal is basically the same as Sonic's. It's try not to blow up and reach the point where the rocket stood where there's now a capsule before Sonic reaches it. And I ended up obliterating that stage. That wasn't too also, bad. Sonic is having a seizure apparently, because he keeps on jumping. I think he's trying to homing attack, but they're trying to stop. But the AI 
is uh trying to stop him. Yeah. Is that it? Sonic, you should check out the bridge. All right, so let's see here. Can't do anything here. Can I do anything right here? No. Okay then. Head to the bridge. Time to fight Gamma. Alright. Only going for five minutes. Uh, I think we should be able to beat the uh, Tales of Story today. Which, if so, that would be pretty good. Sonic! Tails! You're a bit late. Not to roboticize it like he did with, like uh, he usually does, but to take a Chaos Emerald. What is your wish, Master? He didn't say ro Robotnik or Robotonic in the uh, original Dreamcast release, I believe. I'll leave it up to you, all right, and so this is still at the beginning of Amy and uh, Gamma's story. Like I think both of them have only had like two, one or two stages. All right, basically just spin attack into him. I tried jumping into him, it didn't work. Res He's supposed to say resistance is futile, but then he got obliterated. Anyways, this is basically the same thing, just replace Sonic Wait, with Tails. Tails? And Move I think aside, Tails Andy. comes... Get out of the way. No. Yeah, all it basically this does is, is replace yep. Sonic with Don't Tails and it. have uh, um, Amy say Tails instead of Sonic. Okay, if you say so, you have your reasons, I guess. And also the response is a lot less... Uh, Douchey, I want to say. Yep. Hurry, Tails. Take Amy and get out of here. Well, what about you? I'll find Eggman and put it stop. To He's not even away. looking at. She's not even looking at Sonic. She was looking at Tails. All right, now Tails saves Amy. Gamma takes off with the uh, nothing, I guess. And we fly off the egg carrier. I have no idea why it starts losing altitude. Because we didn't do that much damage to it. It wasn't losing altitude until we ended up feeding, defeating Gamma. Also, Tails just flew off the aspect ratio. Seriously, Tails. How can you do that? Tails, Amy, and the bird all land safely, and then I think uh, Gamma lands in... Well, Gamma lands somewhere in the Mystic Ruins. And yeah, after... Uh, after Chaos 6, I guess, Eggman ended up uh, flying over here as the continuity continues. So, yeah. That's Eggman. I wonder what happened to Sonic. Oh, that line is so funny. I'm finished. Chaos was defeated, and now my egg carrier is ruined. No matter. I will destroy Station Square anyway.
Must have been a dud. Oh, no, it was a dud. I can't believe this. Ah, I'll go and deal with this myself. All right, and if you oh, remember no. that building from Sonic's playthrough, that is it. Speed Highway's entrance. So Tails is Tails' last stage is Speed Highway. And instead of racing Sonic, I guess we're racing Eggman. In which some of these Eggman. lines are pretty funny. The fate of Station Square depends on me. Oh, Sonic! You can't depend on him for everything. I've changed a lot since I started hanging with Sonic. But I can't depend on him forever. I know I can do this by myself. Okay, Eggman, bring it on! You think you can keep up with me? Oh yes, I think I can beat you. What? You scored up! I got you now, Tails. And Speed Highway is probably Tails' best stage in the game. So, yeah, it's the best Sonic stage in my opinion, and it's the best Tails stage. I guess I really just like Speed Highway. Anyways, here's where it divides diverges from Sonic about halfway through. Here, I think, is some place that Sonic doesn't get to go to, or at least he barely spends any time in this area. Alright, I'm looking for some of those rings that'll give Tails a speed boost. Where, where am I? There I, there's where I'm supposed to go. Alright, and... And I missed the platform. Dang it! You think you can keep up with me? I already did, Eggman. Tails, wait for me! Yeah, that's the funny line, is that if you were able to get ahead of him fast enough, he'll go, do you think you can keep up with me? And then I'll say, Tails, wait for me. Because you're so fast. Anyways, I want to try and land on this platform for an extra uh, little bit of grounding. And then head in this direction. Like I said, Tails' story was short. It's only been about, I want to say an hour since I started recording his Let's Play. Or series. I, I should land soon. Oh! Oh! Okay. Land on this platform. Don't lose control of yourself. Alright, and now what you're supposed to do is do not run into the building. Or actually do run into the building. Yeah, and then you've reached it before Eggman, and you've won. And now we that have his bad. final boss coming up soon. Which, oh, uh, this is supposed to, I guess, take place before the Egg Viper, so oh no, most people consider it, at least. So you think you did a missile, now, this makes no sense in, in com well, actually, I guess it kind of does. So never mind what I was going to say. Anyways, that details his final boss right here. It really helps if you got that optional power-up. Uh, the ribbon badge. It really helps You'll if you fall. have it for this fight. Okay. I make meat out of you. Best I'm line in the scared. game right there. I'm not scared. I can do this. I mean, seriously. This man is so sick for saying that to a little eight-year-old. Or is he ten in this game? I don't know. Anyways, what you want to do is get up close to him and underneath him and then tailspin into his um, thing and then hit him. Tailspin into his giant leg lights and then uh, jump into him. And uh, the room that just allows you to uh, continuously spin forever. And all he really does is do this. And he occasionally, and he eventually.
actually adds in other uh, feet, so you have to add more feet, more uh, tail spins into it. Anyways, run to the other side of the field once you've hit him. And, oh, he went ahead and jumped. I guess I got there too quick. Jump, jump. Yeah, this is also another boss fight where you hear a lot of get a load of this. Oh, but I will. Oh, and he does this rush attack. Tail spin for victory! And we've won the boss fight, and that's the end of Tail's story done in, hey, 15 minutes. Or 16 minutes since we gotta watch his end cutscene. And trailer. Hey! I did it! Now I am going to speak you through his um uh, end cutscene giving my thoughts on it because I don't want to get copyright by striked myself. by Sega. I guess he was awarded a Chaos Emerald for doing this. Because, as seen in the next game, he has a Chaos Emerald. Anyways, here he meets up with Sonic after, during Sonic's end cutscene. And I guess it took him so long to fly across that Eggman was able to. Def it became day again, and Eggman was able to defeat the Egg. Or, um, Eggman got defeated at the Egg Viper. Yeah, Sonic's story starts at the very beginning of the story and ends and ends at the latest point in the story, as far as I remember. Because I think everyone else ends just before Sonic's story ends, canonically. Although I haven't really uh, planned things out. So, Tales of Story is probably my second favorite. Third favorite follow is... Sonic is obviously my favorite. It's Sonic Adventure, after all. But Tales of Story is my second favorite. And mainly it's just because his... His style suits him so well. I mean, in Sonic 2, he was a clone of Sonic. Maybe a little shorter with sprites, so he he was easier to play as because you couldn't get crushed as often. And then in Sonic 3, he gained the ability to fly. And all of those abilities return here. The only thing that doesn't return is his, um, his spin dash. But, like, that doesn't really matter because that was... Because, I mean, it always was... Alright, what am I trying to say here? His spin dash was never... Well, it wasn't really as useful as Sonic's, considering his was... I think Sonic's goes faster than Tails's. So, yeah. Anyways, uh... Tails' story was pretty good. It... It certainly trumps on, uh, Biggs, which has no real plot significance other than the fact that the stupid frog swallowed a part of Chaos and a Chaos- and two Chaos Emeralds throughout the entire plot. Don't ask me how he was able to do that when one Chaos Emerald is bigger than the frog himself. But, uh, yeah, I never really found too many issues with most of Tales of Stages. The only one that really irked me was the one where you were- well, the snowboarding, and then the mini games were, uh, well, the sub games were just kind of boring itself because they're the repeats of Sonic, and then the one that he does get is kind of bland. But uh, yeah, pretty good. And besides, it's the last real point you get to play as Tails without him getting hindered in some way, because in Sonic. Adventure 2, he is rushed in. And so he didn't have a chance to have this style get improved and moved in. He's literally a clone of Gamma, who died. Well, he's a clone of Gamma 
from this game in that game, and he sort of he sort of takes the role of the uh, bringing Gamma's evolving Gamma style along with another character in that game. But uh, yeah. So uh, trying to figure out something to say. Oh, and, and Sonic Heroes, whenever you try to fly as him, he has a really short flight meter that, like, ru and a limit to how high you can go, which really ruins the fun. The only limit to how high you could go was, uh, in the previous games, well, was, uh, how long you, you, well, it was how high you were from the ground. Or, uh, what am I trying to say? I'm stumbling over my words. The only limit in Sonic 3 was how fast you could button mash the buttons to fly. And the only limit in this game is that you, well, you have a flight time. If you hold down the button, which is the only way to go up, you'll lose your time. Anyways, that's it with Tales of Story. Uh, 20. Perfect adventurer. 20 out of 30. Oh, and this is why I wanted to mod the game, because uh, you actually get Game Gear games in this version, which were in the GameCube version, and I believe the original PC release from 2004, but they were removed for the 360 release and PlayStation 3 release, I believe. And that's kind of stupid. Those were one of the advantages for buying the game if you didn't already buy it for the Dreamcast. So, yeah, the mod adds them back in, and that's why I chose to play the mod, other than the fact that it brings in um, the better lighting style. Anyways, now we have this, and we can choose a minigame to play from the Game Gear. And it's probably good, if I ever do do a Let's Play of this, it's gonna be with a different aspect ratio. Because this is really abysmally small for you guys. You wouldn't be able to see this. Anyways, the only one we have is Sonic the Hedgehog on the original Game Gear. Okay. So, in the next episode and next session, we'll be moving into Knuckles' playthrough. So, yeah. If you like this video and want to see more content from me, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you get notified for every single time I upload. Share this video with your friends so you can help ch this channel grow. It really means a lot to me. Uh, comment down below if you think there's any way I can improve. This is Losi Sands Gaming, signing out.